Hi there, guys, and welcome to another Midweek Outlook. I'm your host, Lit Cap Ads. And today, just going to be going through what's been going on in the Discord, in the charts channel, in the copy trading. And then, of course, we'll look at some setups for the rest of the week. So, guys, if you haven't already, this is how you get into our Discord channel. You can download the app on your iPhone. And then, of course, come to our website where you can follow this drop down box where you can then follow the instructions to get access to our Discord. Inside our Discord is an app where you can find charts that we're looking at. We can actually call trades down to a T with the copy trading channel. And there's just a whole load of stuff in there. There's a trading forum where you can uh, discuss with other traders and there's a book club. There's whole loads of stuff in there just to get you started with your trading and help you improve. So guys, just check it out. It's a, it's a great, useful tool to have. Um, with that being said, I'm going to get straight into the charts. The first one I want to go over this week is the Euro NZD. This was called by Cabell. Um, this was a great trade, a sell limit for the Euro NZD. Very profitable. And again, with a bit of patience, we've managed to capture 200 pips on this move. So the sell was called around the 178, 500 mark, 434 to be precise. So round around this red line here. So that's the area we look to enter. This is the area we look to get out. And as you can see, it's actually gone lower than where we've actually aimed to get out. So there would have been more profit available. But, you know, it's important to have an exit point. So, again, 200 pips on that move. Congratulations to everyone that caught that. I understand it was a very, very profitable move. Um, I'm going to get on to the next one now. This was a buy limit on the pound USD that just went wrong. So we got in a bit too early. OK, this time we didn't practice the patience that we should have, um, which is fine. We, we thought we saw a move we had to take. Um, it's come lower and now we're starting to get that pound push. OK, so again, just stay tuned in the discord for this one. I understand this is going to be updated very soon. On to the next one is the euro pound. OK, so this is something I've been monitoring very, very closely myself. Um, and I've called a sell early this week on the 9600 mark. So just around about here, looking to see price make what we're seeing now. Um, I actually mentioned this in the charts channel. So this is something for you to to look at on what we do in the charts channel. I mentioned that there was two areas I'm focused on and I was going to play both of them. It came to my first area. I played it. It didn't go well. That was the one that lost. Um, it's now at a level of the 91 mark, which I was looking at. And as you can see, we've got a strong, strong bearish move down. So there's obviously been some big money pumped into the pound. OK, so I'm now focusing on that key level of the 91 just to see if we're going to get a pullback up into that area for a possible another entry and just again i'll be monitoring the structure just to see where we get on with this is it going to make a new low and so on okay so that was the euro pound now guys if you haven't already here's another great useful tool for you to use uh, it's the youtube channel of lit capital okay so you can come onto our channel here click on the logo and inside the playlists there is lots of useful tools the lit tips the beginner's guide things for you just to improve your trading do check it out it is very useful okay and do hit the subscribe button and notifications bell to stay up to date with any videos we post some of the videos we post require immediate action so be sure to do that okay guys i'm just going to get into the last one very briefly it's the pound australian dollar okay this is something that i've been mentioning on the morning calls this week this is something that, again, I was looking around the key number of 1.8. So the 1.8 number just around there. We was looking for this pound strength this morning. We've got it. OK, so in the pound Aussie and the euro pound, we've seen that my area, my point of interest is, is, is evident that something's happening there. OK, money's been pumped into my area. So I'm happy with the reaction I've got, the strong bullish push up. I now, similar with the euro pound, just want to monitor and see how it's going to go. We may not get a move today. I'm going to be watching this around the New York, but definitely around tomorrow morning, eight o'clock London opening. After I see how today plays out, we're going to catch a strong move on this very soon. So again, just letting this happen. I want to see what's going to do. Is it going to take the, the high up here? Is it going to come down and retest again off the key number of 1.8? So again, guys, just stay tuned in the Discord. There'll be lots of things happening from now to the end of the week. I know we've got news tomorrow on the Euro. So we're expecting movement in that. So, um, yeah, guys, just stay tuned. And again, like I mentioned at the start of the video with the YouTube and the Discord, if you haven't got yourself in on them already, please don't play yourself and make that happen. OK, I've been Lit Cap Ads, guys. That's been the midweek outlook. I look forward to seeing you all next week. 
stay tuned and remember guys every day is money day